Here's the deal, Columbus. Uh, I'm not easy to get along with, and I'm sensing you're a bit of a bitch. Light codes. Get out and get your light codes. <laughs> Grand rising. <laughs> it's like 11 o'clock. It's, it's not the morning, but um, I look extra shitty right now. I bet. Oh, I'm so loud. My, my voice is bouncing off of the neighbor's houses, but I have been up since 4.30. Went out. Oh, I, got, I got my old fuckhole bar shirt on. Don't mind the logo. Made a little work shirt. But for the past couple of days, the weather's been super shitty. And real rainy and today it is so sunny and until you realize how important it is to get your skin out catching these light codes oh feels so much better and for the past couple of days I've had a lot of like a lot of ringing in my right ear and have been in a very concentrated in my mind state i haven't hung out with guy um i've just been home like trying to get a better sleep schedule and shit and uh trying to stick to my my exercising <laughs> which got fucked up yesterday because it was like so fucking rainy but i went 3.2 miles today so <laughs> progress and we're getting the new anthracite uh cool furnace going we got it last year but um oh my dad and my dad and myself are fucking with it and he just went out to grab lunch with a buddy he's like you want to come grab bowl soup i was like no thank you because my dad's friends like <laughs> they were fucking terrified of me they think i have lost my fucking mind and so it's just like no have fun with your homies i'm just gonna be here I put a little thing on my, my community page about sending good vibes out to poor Mark Shepard from the show Supernatural and wish him a very speedy recovery. Dude died. Like, dude got so fucked up. And, um, so, we're out here douching out this fucking furnace and <laughs> getting it ready. And, um, just been using the regular furnace for now and um but it's time and it's a bitch like learning the maintenance this is our first time through it and my dad's like <laughs> teach you how to do this shit with a fine tooth comb and that oh, fucking sucks we're literally busting our balls trying to get this furnace cleaned out and um i got there's buckets like we got a bunch of loose coal this year because it was a little cheaper than the 40 pound bag shit that we got last year but i got a bunch of 40 pound bags draining pretty much and filthy literally freaking disgusting and i feel great i'm just out here moving i mean my body hurts <laughs> i feel the burn <laughs> but um love it and speaking of just being fucking dirty as shit, Guy had never even heard of the, the show Dirty Jobs. Literally. Fucking, it's not Dirty Jobs. I always say that. Tough as nails. Oh, I'm sitting here like I know I'm going to fuck it up. Tough as nails. I always blend it between uh, Mike Rose's old show, but 
tough as nails. I watched the first couple of seasons. And if you've never been in a trade job, I, I don't know if you could really appreciate this shit. And um, I love it. I love the show Tough as Nails. But I quit watching TV. So I haven't watched it. And I brought it up to Guy. And he's like, that sounds cool. Because he was a boiler maker and shit. Like, he does general contracting stuff. It's right up his lane. Like, right up his sleepy little lane if he wants to, like, entertain himself. But, um, he's gonna get whatever. He, he fucking pirates everything. But, um, whatever app or whatever the hell he has to get. And we're gonna go through a, a tough as nails like marathon pretty much because I'm like you don't know what you're missing you would love this show and I'm just trying to really 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 stay positive and and keep keep positive and it does it really goes to show how seasonal depression and mood changes are directly affected a lot of times by them covering up the sun with their fake ass clouds and their bullshit chemtrails so annoying but I made that video uh last night where I like used my little video editor and that kind of took a while <laughs> I give people a lot of credit who are like trying to make good quality videos and shit like I don't give a fuck <laughs> personally um but that was fun I want to like do that again someday and throughout the last couple of days this ringing in my right ear it definitely came with some downloading and I've kind of for me personally I don't know about anybody else but things are very directional within my mind it's like a compass it's like trying to navigate a compass when you figure out that you have to sit at 50 and learn how to look left a little bit and learn how to look right a little bit and try to stay center and get away from extreme things it's like when you pop your mind open and shit and you balance your energy in a straight line like through your fucking head pretty much and then you open up and get your pineal gland functioning it's like then you get the missing everything like, you can't even navigate. I, I don't even know how people navigate. It, it's blind. It's a dead state of consciousness. And I've noticed when I have ringing in my left ear, I will kind of turn my head a little bit. And, um... I associate things on the left with downloads or things from the past. And it's not often I get ringing in my right ear. It probably has something to do with the fact that I don't want to fucking know. <laughs> I don't want to... I've never wanted to know, like, what in the fuck was going to happen. But, um, I got a lot of shit going on on the right. And when that happens, I kind of turn my head to the left and it's like a bounce effect. Like, to soften the blow of whatever information it's kind of easier to bounce it off a mirror or kind of easier to read when you realize that inside of your mind, it's just a bunch of mirrors. And I kind of 
received a little bit of guidance as to try to explain a little bit better what happened to me with footage from a show that I'm going to bring up and it might take a couple of days because a lot of these shows like how I reacted when I was trying to be funny and bring up the funny nut ward episode of Supernatural when you wake up and you realize what the fuck they've done with these shows and movies and when you realize that you are in the highest target group and when you realize what they've done it is so triggering and I'm um I, I, I can't stand them like Maybe, maybe I'll make a list. Maybe I'll start making lists of what my personal favorite shows used to be and start linking them up and showing side-by-sides of the repeating decimal bullshit. And... just show you what I think me as a person have been attacked with and um yeah I don't know that's pretty much I guess that's pretty much all I got for now I'm gonna get my ass back to work before I lose motivation to keep doing dirty shit it's so fun literally so fun for me Cause you can always just get a great shower like the dirtier you get you could just get a bomb ass shower and i can't wait <laughs> i might have to peel my fucking clothes off me by the time i'm done but oh and my hands <laughs> when i started making videos i'm like have fun with my fucking man hands in all of my videos <laughs> a few nights ago um Guy was like, hey, can you grab me? Can you grab me that thing over there? And I'm like, yeah. And I went to reach and grab it. And he's like, thanks, Shrek fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking asshole. Oh, I have the biggest paws I have ever seen on a woman. And um, my mom, she's got some fucking mittens on her, too. But he called me Shrek fingers and I fucking can't like so accurate like the fucking pause. My sister used to call me sausage hammers <laughs> in high school. <laughs> We'd go to mosh pit concerts and shit and oh I would fight. I I literally I think that's another thing that people don't understand about the Indigo 3 situation is the, like, the trigger. It is so much easier to be called or looked at as bipolar immediately because it is an almost unnatural reactivity and it's like okay if we're we're actually just running around here in little avatar bodies that are reptilian and mammal and we are all stuck in a small reptilian mind and that's a fact like the reptilian small portion of the mind is very real and recognized it's like when you take an angelic soul, throw it into a, an avatar body who's going to be reacting more of the a mammal, a loving mammal. And then you take, say, a draconian Anunnaki soul or 
any other more reptilian kind of fallen mentality soul and you throw it in the avatar body too it's going to play into the reptilian aspects it's rough it's rough and it's like you don't understand like so many of the indigo threes that i've spoken to are traumatized by the things that they've done in their sleep state because they are so vicious it's like a you're prone to play into the sleep state of consciousness fallen timeline shit even worse like and you just don't know why you just so many people can't figure out why they are so loving on one regard but then are followed by a black cloud it feels like you have a black cloud surrounding you like that dormant fallen soul people think it's just no big deal and it's 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 kind of more sentient i guess in my opinion than maybe some people realize it's like literally like it's like fucking mitosis it's like oh yeah it's a blob of good and a blob of sh shit and they're just stuck like literally stuck and it's uncomfortable when you don't know that's all i got i'm gonna take my man hands and go ha hee <laughs> toodles but real quick there's a little more while my dad's still gone I just threw this coat on because i'm outside in the sun fucking with the bags of cool but threw my threw my kids coat on real quick to cover up my um old logo because i left friends there well you know buddies whatever me and my dad go out to breakfast this morning and it's a a little hometown diner like there's a lot of them in my town and again my town is primarily conservative christians and even the democrats are christians um there might be a small handful of like agnostics and like one person that i know of that's like muslim but for the most part trump supporters and i go to this diner and this guy comes in and it is like it's so disgusting and cavalier how people at least from from that side from the right from where i'm coming from sitting on 50 hoping to more people from the left and the right wants to realize how fucked up it is and shit with jordan jordan maxwell saying that it's right wing and left wing because everybody's just pretty much flapping the fuck around flapping their gaps and don't know what they're talking about with no legs to stand on that makes a lot of sense and um i mean me being jacked off at christianity it's kind of like, how would you feel, regardless of what your belief system is, if you went through the proper channels of fact-checking and you came to realize that your entire family was essentially being held at gunpoint by a cult? Would you be the most pissed off at all of the other cults or at the cult that had your family held down? Hey! That's what 
that's how I feel. And I think the Vatican should admit that their game is busted and apologize to my fucking family. But anyway, go into this diner and these small town old conservative Christians are literally saying the most racist shit. And I'm sitting there and my dad's sitting there just kind of like starting to understand that it is disgusting that these people will just openly sound off in horrifically racist ways. And there are a shitload of Christians who are <laughs> in public, let alone behind closed doors, watching this Hamas and Israel shit. And they are also calling for the genocide of Muslims. Not realizing that they're part, <laughs> they're all in the same fucking cult. And I'm sitting there and I was just disgusted. And at one point I was like, are you all, are you all Christians? And they're all like, yeah, there's four of them. Or like, yeah, we're Christians. And we side with Israel. I'm like, well, well, if you follow Jesus Christ, why would you think that he would be fine with um, mass murder if the story went the way you think it did? And they're like, "Well, yeah, yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta protect them. You gotta, you gotta protect yourself. You have the right to defend yourself." And I went, "Hey, so." If you as a person has a right to dis defend their their personal body, um, where is this we have the right to defend ourselves mentality coming from? And this one guy goes, well, if they're attacking Israel, they're attacking Christians. And I said, what makes you think that? What makes you think that any kind of an attack not on your personal body is an attack against your safety. You want the mass genocide of anybody who disagrees with what you think is what I'm hearing you say. And this one guy goes, well, Christians and Jews are following the same shit. And I'm like, Stop. I said, do you know who the Jews Messiah is? And they're like, same, same as me, same as every sleeping Christian that I know who, who never checked their facts. I said, do you know who the Jews Messiah is? And they're like, Jesus. And I went, no. Um, the Jews are waiting for the Antichrist and Christians are waiting for Christ and they're going that's not true and I'm going yes it is it actually is um, if you're going to follow religious brainwashing why don't you follow it correctly the Jews Messiah is the Antichrist, not Christ. And I said, if that were true, could you see why they're pushing all of this shit very fast before the United States realizes that the Jews and Christians are as friendly as Muslims and Christians and Muslims and Jews? I said, could that make you understand why they're doing all of this shit to hurry up and push the new world order? 
because it's all three religions controlling and fucking up the world together now pushing the awakening humanity into the new world order that is going to be controlled by them and they're going how do you know that i said it's called checking your facts i said and could you understand would that make you halt right fucking now about wanting to mass genocide a specific religion or race at all, if that were a fact. Could you understand why the United States looks like a bunch of sleeping fucking idiots to people like Russia and shit? Like, could you understand the problem with this administration sending troops over to defend a country who is waiting for Christian United States is antichrist. That's kind of a problem, huh? And everybody was just like, oh, my dad's just sitting there like, oh. like he's so fucking annoyed. And I'm just like, the more you know, it's fucking unreal. Okay, I gotta get back in there. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Here's me being positive and staying positive regardless. But I wrapped up doing this cool and shit. Made my first video, made my second video. And when I was done with it, in my mind, I started getting a little uncomfortable. <laughs> because of the crisscross that I was talking about with how you know, the United States and Israel are waiting for two totally different extraterrestrial entities, pretty much. And, and then I start thinking in my head, and I fucking hate when this happens, when I start wandering and start pulling threads I don't know how downloads feel like specifically to other people but it feels like 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 a a blur like a thin floppy disk almost just a little like a mirage like becomes available for you to read this is why in free guy ryan reynolds you see him flipping the blinds up and down and then like i pointed out with the character anna from supernatural when she was in the mental ward, not realizing that she used to be an angel. And they're trying to make it look like these things are psychosis. When you're kind of stuck in your mind, trying to flip blinds and use mirrors, just like Ryan Reynolds flipping the blinds in the movie Free Guy. He is going through the process of a spiritual awakening and realizing he is an NPC in a video game, just like, a, just like this whole real world, real fake world. And um, I start wondering why there was a ringing for a couple of days in my right ear crisscrossing me back to the past when the right is future possibilities and I, I understand that part of it but I couldn't understand why I was being maybe redirected a little bit 
to clear up. Um, loud. What maybe, you know, what had happened to me. And I feel like actively right now there are a bunch of dominoes. Like, I'm not in a fucking breakdown or anything kind of way, guys. Like, when you spiritually awaken and you are able to remain calm, it's way better. It's not a big fucking deal. Like, I got crisscrossed in my mind with downloads that kind of for me personally right now are making my life and all of this horse shit that I ha have been having to deal with in this situation go full circle. And I'm really, really actively in the moment being able to comprehend A, an actual large amount of shit and um I guess I'm going to I'm gonna hold the fuck off on sharing any more that has to do with my own personal past or anything because It's not fun. Like, things unravel to me as I can process without being totally afraid. And when I look back and I try to see the physical features of certain entities or any entities, I don't see the physical features. I see approximate sizes, shapes, and that's what I've kind of been guided by so far was it didn't matter like who or what certain entities used to be and I've, I've been very afraid in my awakening, obviously. And I still don't, I still um, don't look back and see as detailed as I probably could if in a hypnotic state with professionals. Um... Like, literally, I would love to just go into hypnosis and give somebody my fucking managers, my oversoul, and it's a lot, actually, when you have to deal with spiritual awakening as a very real star seed and that's all I got for now it is like it's just a lot and this is the shit that eats people up subconsciously and they can't fucking realize it and I want everybody to know <laughs> toodles